you guys want to play channel, then please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. So today we're going to be learning how to do an animation. First, let's delete this touch tab. And now, hover your mouse pointer over this cat button, and then click paintbrush. First, we're going to have to draw a stick now to animate. Set the fill to black. Your, your, your pop-up may, may look different. Uh, if it is, then just put this line. Just click that line. Okay. Now let's draw a circle. For drawing a circle, you have to click on the this button. Change the outline to twenty. Then draw a line below. Draw a hand. Another hand. A leg. And another leg. Okay, now you have a stick now. Note if you already know how to do a well detailed and well non stick man OC, then you're welcome to do something else. This is a basic tutorial, so we're gonna use a stick man. So, what exactly is an animation? An animation is just a lot of pictures moving so fastly that your eyes think that it's actually moving. For, um, let's see how to do an animation. First, we have this. It's called Frame 1. Since, well, it's the first screen you're going to see when you play the animation. Now, right-click this box and click Duplicate. Now, we're going to see how to make the stickman say hi. And first, you're going to have to click this button. It's reshaped. Now, click on the right hand. Now click this dot on the end. Now use your arrow keys, don't drag it. Click the right arrow 10 times and the up arrow 10 times. Now Look, we have two costumes. In this one, one uh, uh, the, the hand is a bit more, well, tilted up than this. And repeat. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the recording. This will take quite long. Just repeat the process. Right click, duplicate. Remember to duplicate the uh, box on the bottom most. And then mm, click on the uh, line after clicking on this button called the shape. And then click on this dot. Do the right arrow 10 times. And the up arrow ten times. Okay, I'm pausing the animation. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, I'll let you know after you've done this like ten times. You can know by uh, noting the number here. You should stop using the right arrow. Just use the up arrow, like. For example, I'm duplicating this 
and I'm only gonna use the apparel. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I I did it ten times, and then it, without using the right arrow ten times, I should duplicate it. Okay, this could take a while too. I'm gonna pause the recording. Hey guys, I'm back and I've done 16 frames and then well, well, we I think we could stop at 16 frames. Look, this looks like the last frame of insane. Now to the coding. Well, you have all the costumes ready, but this is not going to do anything by its own. We're going to have to code it to change the costumes frequently. Okay, go to events. So, repeat until. And then, operator and grab the equal to inside this gap. For boolean. By the way, this is a boolean. This, anything in this shape is a boolean. Scratch. Okay. Now, we'll go to the looks and drag and drop the costume number. Now, a costume number is the number over here. It shows the number of costumes, the number of frames we have. Now, since the last costume number was 16, we're going to have to type 16. Each until costume number equals 16. Now, next costume. Now, what the next costume does is, for example, if we switch co the costume to the first frame then uh, if you want it to go to the second frame and if the if we're already in the second frame you want it to go in third then next costume is the best thing to do okay and then next cost now let's see what it does wow that was pretty good wasn't it but now when I click the green flag again, nothing happens. Oh my gosh, why is it? We we did the code, but that's because we didn't switch it to the costume one. Look, what this does it, it does is it repeats it, and repeatedly it changes the costume until the costume number equals to 16. But the costume number is already 16, so it doesn't need to do anything. So we have to reset the animation by drag and dropping the switch costume to costume one. Now you would probably not see costume one and you will see something like costume 15 or 16. You have to click on this, click on this oval thingy and then click on the costume one. Now, that was nice. And if you want it to go back, if you want the hand to go back again after coming up, well, you might think that we have to repeatedly press down and left arrow. Well, no, that's not the case. And, well, all you have to do is, well, right click this repeat temple block, click duplicate. And then just drag and drop this next costume block to a corner. It will disappear. Now we're going to have to drag and drop the switch costume block. Now you might be confused because you don't want to reset anything. But we're going to do something different. Drag and drop the subtract sign from the operator into this ellipse. Or 
and then we're, we're, we're going to have to drag and drop the costume number again. Costume number minus one. What this does is switch the costume to the costume number plus one. What this does is switch the costume to the costume minus one. Wait. Now let's see how it does. Well, we, we forgot to change this number to one. That's why that happened. Now, place the 16 with one. You see what happened there? It was the same thing that happened before when it won't play more than once. The costume number was already in 16, so it doesn't have to do anything. So let's click the plus again. That's good, but no one just, well, I don't know, just raised their hand and get it back down again. And, well, waiting, uh, without waiting for a second. Well, you could drag and drop the way one second block. Okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now, if you see, there, there's this wait one second block in the control. And just drag it correctly in between these two repeat templates. Or I'll just make it easy for you. And now pretend none of that uh, dragging and dropping in the middle happened. Drag and drop this last repeat until away. Drag and drop this wave one here. And then drag and drop this repeat until below the wave once again. You can make it wait for as much as seconds you want. I'm going for actually two seconds. Now, face it up, wait two seconds, close it down. Great! Congratulations! You've done your first animation. Well, remember, you, no one gets it correctly on the first try. You have to keep on practicing to become good at animating. Hope you enjoyed! Bye!